Today in New York, arguments started in the case of the highest ranking Mexican official to ever stand trial in the U.S. Prosecutors say the very man responsible for working with the U.S. to enforce the war on drugs protected the cartels he was supposed to prosecute. Nick Schifrin reports. In 2006, then-Mexican President Felipe Calderón tasked Genaro García Luna to remake Mexican law enforcement and go to war against Mexico's cartels. As the head of Mexico's security ministry, and before that, Mexico's version of the FBI, García Luna was one of the U.S.'s most important partners. That's him with then-Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. But now U.S. prosecutors accuse him of taking millions of dollars in bribes and enabling the powerful Sinaloa cartel to traffic some 50 tons of cocaine into the U.S. and avoid prosecution. He has pleaded not guilty, and today his lawyer said there is no money, no photos, no video, no texts, no emails, no recordings, no documents, no credible, believable evidence that Hanaro Garcia Luna helped the cartel. To discuss the trial and what it means in the U.S.-Mexico relationship, I'm joined by Leon Krause, journalist and author who's currently Univision's national news anchor in Miami. Leon Krause, pleasure to have you on the news hour. Uh, how does this happen? Uh, that someone so senior <laughs> inside the Mexican state uh, is the very person that the Sinaloa cartel manages to flip? That's a great question, Nick. Great to be with you. Uh, first, I think we have to imagine who Garcia Luna was. I imagine the head of uh, DHS, Homeland Security, and the head of the FBI in one person. That was uh, Genaro Garcia Luna. Uh, for six years, he led the war on drugs. He re-engineered Mexican, Mexican police. He was an... Uh, uh, all too powerful figure who controlled himself, uh, uh, information, sometimes monopolized information, was uh, was quite feared. Very, very powerful individual, um, uh, respected as well on both sides of the border. That this man uh, betrayed those he swore to protect is uh, is quite the tragedy. And so, in that sense, uh, why is this trial about a lot more than drugs? Well, uh, that's that's a big question. I think that. Uh, Mexico has suffered through uh, uh, a long drug war that has cost hundreds of thousands of, of lives uh, to this point. Um, and it has been very painful for the country. So if the man who was in charge of the whole operation, of conceiving the whole operation, is proven to, proven to be so corrupt, what can we say about uh, the war on drugs? Uh, I think that uh, ideally this should uh, begin a debate uh, in Mexico and the United States as to how best to fight this this uh, this conflict and that includes frankly the united states and its uh, incredible appetite for drugs and uh, it's uh, also incredible uh, capacity to feed warlike weapons to those cartels uh, ProPublica has reported that U.S. investigators have had evidence uh, showing his working with the cartels back in 2012 when he was still the minister of uh, security, uh, but prosecutors only brought charges after some of these became public uh, in the case of Al Chapo, the former head of the mm -hmm. Sinaloa cartel in 2019. Uh, do you believe this is a case of, of the U.S. not wanting to, to realize or not wanting to admit that one of their major allies was corrupt? Yeah, that might be that might be the case. Him uh, allegedly having uh, some sort of deal with the Sinaloa cartel, in which he he got like uh, half the amount of uh, market value worth of the cocaine that was um, taken from rival cartels. It's just uh, it's just beyond dramatic. It's it's really really tragic, and uh, and, and and it paints a horrible picture of what uh, uh, what that was like back in the day. But also brings into question where we are now, Frank. What, what do we know about the man himself? Uh, I, I've read uh, uh, other journalists uh, talk about him, that, that he considered himself a kind of James Bond. Yeah, he, he, he was... A, I laugh because, you know, you can't make this up. I mean, he was uh, obsessed with, uh, with James Bond, obsessed with uh, uh, recognition of, of, his, of his work. He saw himself as uh, some sort of hero. He uh, exercised very strict control, monopolized information, uh, Julian Andrade, a journalist who knew Garcia Luna very well, told me that uh, uh, he, he liked to keep strict control of uh, all information. But of course, the problem was that there was only one person who knew everything. 
how everything worked, and that person was Garcia Luna. And finally, go back to a point that, that you were making before, that this trial could lead to a debate, lead to a kind of confrontation uh, in the United States, but certainly in Mexico, uh, about the war on drugs that's killed 300,000 since 2006. Why do you think the trial can, can get Mexico to confront that legacy and, and some of the rotten core of the security services? Well, I think that Mexico faces a, a, a very uh, complicated scenario, Nick, frankly. I mean, when, when you think, when you, you see the power of corruption that the cartels have, you also see the, 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 the caliber of the weapons they use. You saw it in, in uh, Sinaloa recently with the reaction to the uh, capture of Ovidio Guzman, Joaquin Guzman's uh, son. They, they have uh, really warlike weapons that come from the United States. And then you have uh, the the, uh, the ascent of fentanyl as uh, the drug of choice now for the cartels and uh, the way that drug is affecting the United States. I think the combination of the three uh, and, and the unending violence in Mexico, uh, really, really a, a big part of the country that's uh, uh, now under the monopoly of, of, uh, of criminal organizations, Really should force uh, should 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 force not only uh, authorities in Mexico but elsewhere uh, in the whole region. The president of Colombia is now opening that uh, dialogue as well to to consider what this war is like. What's the end game to this war with with all those elements on on the table? And I think that this trial will will play a role or at least should play a role in uh, in that uh, debate. Leon Krause, thank you very much. Thank you, Nick.